But either way it goes, still possibilities to make money. Like I said, this is how I make over 100K every single promo. What's good, YouTube? How y'all doing, man? Welcome to a brand new video, man. Today, we're gonna get into how you guys can make 100K plus doing this Ultimate Legend promo. If you guys are new to the channel, what I do is I help no money spent people gain coins, create better teams, all types of things. I drop those methods on this channel. So if you guys are interested in any of that content, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys are interested in buying muck coins, go to my sponsor, easymuckcoins.com. Use code DOG for a 5% discount on checkout. This is always risky but I wanna show y'all the methods anyway. What we're doing today, man, is I'm gonna show y'all three methods of how y'all can make more coins during this Ultimate Legend promo. Now this promo has not dropped yet. I'm doing this before because the video takes so long to upload. So I'm gonna give you guys some stuff beforehand so you guys could go ahead and you, you know the vibes, you know the vibes. So this is what we're gonna do. The first method, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into this 89s. Now I'm gonna show y'all exactly what y'all need to be doing, right? I'm going to give you all price ranges and why I give you guys the exact price range. You could do it for more. You could do it for less. It just depends on what you want to do. So basically, you want to go 88 through 89. Because the Ultimate Legend promo is so active, which means so many cars are going to be dropping, I'm going to say go ahead and do the 89 overall Ultimate Legends. You guys could do any 89s, but you're going to need two. And the reason why you're going to need two is because if you have two, you're going to go ahead and do the Mutt Hero set. Now, the Mutt Hero set, all you need to do is you need to grab an 89 and you need to add it to the 90 through 91 overall Mutt Hero set. Now, the prices you want to get the 89s for is probably going to be around 23. It's gonna, I'm going to just start off with 22 because you'll see a lot of you, you'll see a decent amount of 22s. So 22s to about 25K. The highest you want to go is 25K. And I'm going to tell you all why. Obviously, the lower, the better. But the highest you want to go is 25K because basically, if you go any higher, you have a higher chance of losing coins, right? Now, unfortunately, you might pull something that you're going to lose coins off of anyway, but this set is so simple and it requires so little effort. You see him selling this 97 for 49. So obviously the 90s are selling for 50 and um, 50 all day for the most part. For the most part, they're selling for 50. Um, obviously, you can see this Adam Thielen for 50 kind of kind of on the low end. But hey, it is what it is. He hasn't got a card in a long time. But you see some of these 90s like Deion Jones going for closer to a 60 so if you putting in the set if you want 22k you're in the set 48k you put them up for 60k you end up making 10k profit on some of the lower cards some of the cards that you don't even really i don't even want y'all to pull but this it you might pull them now you see that it's only two Deion jones is up so you can probably get away with putting them up for like 69 making even more profit it's just to your discretion whatever you guys want to put it up to but the cars that we really looking for man it's, it's a couple cars that we really want man honestly you can make coins off of this jj watt sometimes sometimes his prices are still a little high you see him at 69 so if you if you did the set and you got two 22s uh 289s for 22k you're going in a set 44k you sell it for 69k you're going to get back about 62k if i'm not mistaken somewhere around 62 63k so off the rip that's already what almost 20k profit so I mean, just for putting cards in a set. Now, like I said, you do have a chance of not pulling something good, but mainly what I want you guys to try to go for is you're trying to go for Jamal Adams, Jalen Ramsey, and Saquon Barkley. So basically, if you go for those, if you go for Jamal, Saquon, and Jalen, if you go for those cards, man, you're gonna make a good amount of coins. I mean, you're not gonna get them every time, but you can see Jalen Ramsey going for 225. I mean, he's probably really going for about 150, but still, you're only putting 44K in the set. So for him to be going for 150 and you put it in 44K, you guys can do the math on a profit. Uh, you also have Saquon who's going for 140. Like I said, you're putting in 44K and you see he's selling. And then you got Jamal Adams, who's he's he's still not, I mean, he's not that expensive but still for 122k i mean for 102k you're putting in 44k even if you put in 50k you're putting in 50k and you're getting back 40k profit if you pull jamal adams so that's still a that's a great thing that you could do for those sets and the next thing i want to show you guys is the 91 to 92 upgrade so it's the same method you're going to get now instead of you using two 89s you're going to get three 89s and i'm going to show y'all that this is very profitable because if you're getting three 89s for 22k you only end up in the set for 66k now like i said this is how i make the coins doing these promos man because a lot of these cards are up in value so you can get away with getting pulling a lot of cards now most of the cards you want to pull are the series redux which you end up pulling a lot of series series redux i mean like I said, you're going to be in 22K. I mean, you're going to be in 66K if you buy each car for 22. So a lot of these cars, you can get away with either breaking even or making profit. Like Clowney, still 133. Uh, Gronk, 124. But some of the bigger ones, 
I mean, I'm not really worried about him. Some of the bigger ones are like Dion. You got, you even got um, Darren Waller, Randy. Alvin Kamara is still going for a decent price. We can go look at his price. I don't know. I, I haven't really done and seen what his price. He's still going for 223K. So listen, so if you're using 66K, right? Because you need three, and you can, you possibly could pull a 91, but that's why we're going is so cheap. Because if you pull a 91, you're only going to lose 10K. But then let's just say you double back and you pulled a 92 after that, you're probably going to go ahead and cover that 10K that you lost in your last set. But if you happen to pull uh, Alvin Kamara, you're going to put in 66K and get back 223K. You're going to put them up for 220K. You're going to end up getting 20, 200K back or 199. That's 130K profit. That's 130k profit. And he's not the only one that's going for this high. I mean, there's other 92s that's going for this high. You have a lot of opportunities, even Telvin Coleman. He's not really a crazy pull, but obviously you see you got George Kittle 200k. But obviously you can see this Telvin Coleman. Look, 134k. So if you happen to pull him, you put in 66k, you get Telvin Coleman back. You put him up for 130k. They're going to take their 13k out. You're going to get about 116, 117 back. 50k profit. And if you guys are scared of the risk, you probably don't need to be doing this set because if you're scared of losing 10, 15, 20K on a, on a set, on a card, then you probably don't need to be, this is not a set for you. But like I said, this is how I'm making over 100K per day during this Ultimate Legend promo. Now we're going to go into the last method, which I think is probably the most riskiest method, but it's one of my favorite methods, man. I really enjoy this method. Now you're going to see these 94 through 95s. So you're going to see them very, very cheap all day long. So right now they're going for 147 because the prices have not dropped due to the promo not being active. But you're going to be able to see these cars below 120. Now what you're going to do, you see these cars below 120. And sometimes I'd even go below 115 if the market is like, if these cars are sitting like this and the market saying that, okay, the cheapest card on the auction block right now is 120. I would even wait until I find a 115. But that's just me because then if I find a 115, it's more profit, less chances of me losing money. But you can still work at 120. 120 is a good price. But my suggestion is if the market is saying that the cheapest card on the auction block when you get into the set is 120, I will wait and find something cheaper. But what you want to do is you want to buy these 94s. You can also buy the 95s below somewhere around like 130, 140. One, you could you could catch a couple of 95s for like 130, 135. You could buy those anything below 135. I would buy 95s, but mainly you're gonna get the 94s below 120. Once you get those 94s below 120, you want a quick sound for training. Now, this is a great way to get started with the night train lane set if you haven't already got started with it. Uh, this is a great way to get started. You could just buy like maybe like five or six of these if you have the coins. Go ahead and buy like five or six of those for under. 120k and you're golden you'll make a lot of coins but what you want to do is you want to go ahead quick sell them you're going to get back 18,000 training and you want to open up three of these players actually two of these players because i can't do math but you're going to open up two of these players right and because you only spent like 115k on there you only got to average 92 to break even but to make profit all you need to average is 191 if you get 191 you put them up for 99k 95k whatever you're gonna get back around 80 to 85k that's already taken care of most of your set and then that's how you end up making profit but let's say you happen to pull through uh, two 89s which is almost impossible but these team of the week 89s are going for somewhere around 40k right so you pull two 89s and then you need to make about 30k back this is where you kind of end up losing profit but the chances of you pulling two 89s is really slim so that's why i don't really this is one of these sets that for the most part I make profit on eight times out of 10. Sometimes you're gonna lose coins, but the profit that I made on the other cards, you end up making coins still. So it doesn't even matter. But you obviously wanna pull a 93s, and if you happen to pull 92s, you can still make some decent coins off of it. It doesn't, it isn't that profitable, but you can still make decent coins. Now, it doesn't matter what you pull out of this. You could pull Saquon, you could pull Deion Jones, you could pull Fred Warner. As long as it's a 93, you're pretty much gonna profit from it. And then you're gonna get two pulls, and then you're gonna have a little bit of training left. Now you're gonna go ahead and pull this Thing Diamond two set piece. Now you get, you get an opportunity to get another 91. Let's just say you happen to pull, uh, a 93 and a 90 and then you go over here and you pull a 91 it's a lot of coins right there you ended up turning 115 or 120k into somewhere around like 160k or more you know what i'm saying so that's why this set is so 
profitable. Now, it, it, like I said, everything that I've dropped in these videos is risky. So you do have a chance of losing coins, but for the most part, a lot of these sets can make you a great amount of coins. You're never going to, I'm never going to put you in a position where you guys are going to lose coins. And you could always get on the auction block and you could always just snipe these cards that I just talked about. You could snipe the 89s, you could snipe the 94s, you could snipe the 93s. You could always just get on here and let's just say you were, you didn't, let's just say you were scared to lose profit on, on doing those sets. What you could do is you could take these 88s through 89s and go in here and do this set and let's just say you find them for like 22 they sell like rapid fire for like 27 so let's just say i'm, I'm gonna look like let's just say you've seen a raw wilson right now his price is probably like a 22 right now but you know all his prices are gonna drop but let's just say instead you were like you know what i don't want to put the 89s in the set i just see this kellen winslow up for 22 you could go ahead and get him for 22 put him up for 29 make a profit there if you do not want to take the risk in a set, you can still make a lot of coins by putting these cards up on an auction block and just sniping them. It doesn't matter. Either way you go, you could do it with the 94s because the 94s, they sell rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire. So let's say you did happen to get a Kurt Warner or somebody for 150K. You could put them up for about 140 or 135 i'd probably say i put them up for like 140 because if you put them up for 140 they're gonna take the 14 k out and you're gonna end up getting back 126 and you got it for 115 so that's an easy 11k or you could put them into a set or quick sell them for training and try to make profit off of that but either way it goes you can there's still possibilities to make money like i said this is how i make over 100k every single promo if you guys are interested in more content like this go ahead and click on the videos down below and you'll see more videos on the channel more videos cater towards you making coins but until then, I'm going to see you on the next video. I'm out.